How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Tate. Today, we're doing something totally different. Something like we've never done on the channel before. And uh, we're actually making a bait. Gonna go out, gonna catch some fish with it. I don't know if any of you are familiar with 3D printing, but that is gonna be how we make the bait today. Actually, it's something that's gaining a lot of popularity. 3D printers have kind of gotten more affordable over the years, and they're become more common. People like me getting them and just playing around doing a bunch of crazy stuff. But before we get in the video, I know that a lot of you guys are new to the channel. I've had a pretty good influx of subscribers. I just wanna welcome y'all to the channel. Appreciate you so much for subscribing and I'm gonna try my best not to disappoint you. So give you some good content to watch. So with that said, um, let's just get on into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Actually, I'm editing the video right now and uh, I just wanna go ahead and let you know about the giveaway. I'm gonna leave all the details down in the description below uh, when you're done with the video or whenever you wanna enter the giveaway. It's got a few different accounts linked and a few different steps you're gonna to have to do. There's a few steps in the giveaway, so but it is a $100 Bass Pro Shops gift card, which is a pretty good giveaway. So I'm actually teaming up with Zuggy Fishing and uh, his podcast, and there's a few different accounts down there that you'll have to go follow, but they all make good fishing content. So, so if you like fishing content, shouldn't be a problem. But I just wanna let you guys know that right off. We'll go ahead and get to the video now. Leave a like if you like my thin mustache. So guys, this is my 3D printer. I believe this is the Ender 3 Pro. I'll leave it linked down in the description below if you want to check it out because it is an awesome, awesome 3D printer. Well, I mean, I don't really have that much experience with 3D printers, but for me as a beginner, it has actually been really good. It's actually done way, it's exceeded my expectations. So I actually need to clean it up a little bit. I still got a little bit of filament left on there, but a pretty cool setup. I'm not going to go much detail about that, but I will show you guys making the bait, how the printer actually works. So you'll see some of that. guys so finished product that right there now it ain't perfect my bed is a little bit unlevel so it has a little bit messed up right there but um it's actually looking pretty good i definitely think that that will catch a fish right there so that's about how big it is i like that and i i think this thing's absolutely gonna have some sick action in the water listen to that it's got a little bit of a squeak in there that may get it done, I don't know. But I think the idea is, I'm just gonna tie the line, I think directly to this. I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea. I think I'm gonna use zip ties and use that to put O-rings on this bait because there's no O-rings that I can find that will make it around that, it's too thick. But it does have holes there and I think I'm just gonna use zip ties so they should work. I got a bunch of different stuff here. I got some uh, swivels and all that good stuff. I'm gonna play around. Try to rig up something, maybe add a little bit of weight to it just to make it sink just a little bit faster. So that's kind of the plan. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good. I did not design this bait. I'll actually try to leave a link down below if any of you guys have a 3D printer and want to print this. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, get to working on this, try to put some hooks on it, and get on out to the water and see if we can catch a fish on it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, folks, well, that is what we got right there. That is the bait right there. Didn't work out perfect just because I thought I had some white zip ties and they would have looked 10 times better, but I think it will be fine. I actually think it will it'll work great. So hopefully that will work out. Let's go out here and see if we can catch a fish on the good old 3D printed lure. I, that thing's just awesome. That's amazing. All right, guys, we're taking the mom mobile, the van, we went on many adventures in the van. We had to make a few modifications that we didn't anticipate with the, the little bait we got. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. We had to add a little weight to it because it floated. And, uh, but I will say that the end result is not what I anticipated it looking like. So I think it's become more of a challenge, but I think we can catch fish on it because it looks pretty good. It, do, it doesn't have quite the swimming motion that I wanted it to have as John tries to hold the camera still for me. But I think it definitely has an action that will appeal to a fish. We're about out here to the pond. It's a, it's a good little, little walk out here. That's a swim bait now. I just put a big old weight on the front of it, which I think will be fine. I think it'll be all right. Um, may mimic something like a, a fish chasing a smaller fish or something, some kind of bait. But I think the pond's likely gonna be a little bit stained. 
so it probably won't matter that much fish may not get that good of a look at it and uh, hopefully we'll get a reaction bite at them if nothing else y'all stick with us hopefully we can catch something on this right here cows is down in the mud man that is muddy right there how are we gonna get through there i'm gonna go over there and poke it and just see if it'll get up poke it yeah i'm gonna poke it this cow right here is just stuck in the mud i think he's standing is he standing or laying or he looks like he's he looks pitiful yeah he's definitely been there a while we're gonna have to we're gonna see if we can get the landowner over here he's actually landowner's actually here right now um we're gonna tell the landowners about this and uh try to get back to you guys okay I guess so this right here is what we're working with. I really think it's going to catch some. First cast. I'm just going to flip it. Right there. It's got a different motion. It don't have like a, like a swimming motion. It's more like a, it's like a, I don't know. It's, it's kind of horizontal in the water. I guess. So we've been fishing for a minute. I've noticed how this action really is with the weight on here. It's like the bait still floats, but since I don't have it pegged, when I pop it, the bait actually goes to the weight, making the bait sink. And then when I stop it, the bait flows back up if I give it enough slack. So I don't know. We'll see what happens here. This might be, might be on something here. This thing actually has a better action than what I thought when you steady reel it, but you kind of have to reel it a little bit quick. That way the weight stays up on the bait but i wish i'd have pegged it but i didn't and i really don't feel like retying it even though i probably should i don't know we'll see what how things go here in this pond we may have to make a modification or two well i didn't know i mean i well i didn't even you know well, here he is son. i didn't know he's gonna be a... john Got a decent one. <laughs> well. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I got one. Oh, man. It's so cool. We got to land this one. He's not, oh, he might be bigger than what I thought he was. No, he's not that big. Don't you come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Yes. Yes. We got a fish on the 3D printed lure. Oh, he got it in the mouth too. That's a decent one. Yes, it is. Give me the pliers real quick. Guys, look at that. Caught him on this thing right here. 3D printed lure. Look at that fish. That is a nice, healthy fish good and thick man that awesome feeling to be able to catch it on something you made i didn't design it but i did make it and that, man that's just awesome that is awesome we're gonna get a thumbnail real quick and we'll get a release on this guy getting back in the water that is a thick fish how about that guys how about that right there man i'm telling you that's uh i mean that's about as good as we could have hoped to done right there in the first what 35 45 minutes of fishing so guys like i said if you don't have a 3d printer seriously go out and get you one i, I think that one costs like 200 and something dollars but i think for the money i've i've really had my share of fun out of it so there's a lot of stuff you can do on there this stuff is very is buoyant so it's going to float so i definitely think a top water bait is probably going to happen at some point so if you guys are liking this video like me catching fish on stuff like this and like the 3d printer Give me some ideas down below. If you like seeing this, like the video. Let me know that, and uh, we'll make it happen. There's one. Yeah. He ate it. He's coming up. He ate it. Uh, oh, it might be a decent one right here. He's not coming up at all. 
Yeah, he's fighting. No, he ain't that big, but he's just on that back hook. He's not hooked well. <laughs> Another one. Another one. They're just kind of swiping at it. I just slowed it down because, like I said, the weight's going down, but the, the, the bait is actually floating. So that one, I slowed down and uh, was not reeling at all. I don't know, there, people think different stuff, but uh, actually what happens is the eggs in the belly throws off their center of gravity and this tail ends up dragging the ground more than it normally does. So that actually is a big part of why the females have bloody tails. So there is another one, folks. Good fish. You guys, we're heading out of here. We're gonna go, we'll probably hit this little pond we hit first on the way out again. Then we're gonna go up and try a different pond. Kind of on the same property. They're definitely not eating it really good. I mean, I've got, I've had a couple bites and I believe the ones that I have caught didn't really fully eat it. I mean, they, they reacted to it, I believe. Ooh. Oh. Just broke off my bait. I'm gonna tie that back on. Buddy. Here. Well, folks, that is that is going to be it for this video. I appreciate you all for watching. Um, hey, we did pretty good. We caught two fish on it. And, uh, I mean, what do you expect from a guy driving a minivan, huh? Again, guys, we are doing the $100 Bass Pro Shops gift card giveaway. Do all those things. I know it's a lot, but it's pretty good, pretty good giveaway, so it's, you know, it's worth it. So be sure to take advantage of that and enter that giveaway because we're doing it for the subscribers and our followers. So... Again, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. Thought today's challenge was a success, and uh, I'll see you next time on another episode. Fishing with Tate.